Well, Putin the cat is actually hanging out on the bed near the uh, Spooky 2 Rife machine now. <laughs> Spooky 2 Central Plaza, he, Plasma, he must like this now. So, And what I did, I used some ordinary string, right? Is that you playing with the string? Yeah. I used some string because, uh, you know, I don't know if you should do this or not, but, you know, I was afraid I'd pull these out of here by mistake, these... these um, connectors to the plasma tube so I used some ordinary cotton string to put a I put a two half hitches knot in there and a two half hitches knot on this side <laughs> just just hooked it to that bar so it won't be able to pull out of there just it doesn't pull out easily at all but just in case just in case I'm trying to be ultra careful with this thing even though I know it's built to very good specifications um, so anyway um, yeah the unit's been performing very well now, there he goes. He's running away with the string. There he goes. See? He takes his string. So, the unit's been performing very well. I don't have it on right now, obviously. But, uh, you know, if you have, if you coil up these wires or get them twisted up, um, it could make, it could do something where the, the you know, you got to reset something on a generator or something. But that's about it. I mean, actually, I've ran this for a lot of hours at a time. No problems whatsoever. None whatsoever. So, just being ultra cautious with it. And I tell you, I really like this design. Um, because the bulb is inside this, you know, encased in this really strong plastic. And it's got these holes in here on the side in the plastic to, for the heat to escape. So, you're not really touching the bulb. And it, it's like, the you know, the bulb itself is glass. This stuff is a lot stronger. I mean, it's not like, you know... I mean, I guess it's possible to break it, but you're not going to break it under normal circumstances. Now, the thing is, I've uh, um, also been looking at some other frequencies possibly to be used. And, uh, you know, I might even order a, a rabies set for the cat. <laughs> because, just in case. Um, I think it's a site called DNA Frequencies. There's a Charlene that runs it. She's got some kind of mathematical equation. Now, I can't tell you what they are. It's like you pay for them, like you do this non-disclosure uh, agreement or something or whatever the heck that is, and you, she countersigns it, and you gotta you gotta sign it, you gotta initial it, and blah blah blah, and before you can even order it, um, the frequency. But uh, I think that mm, from what I heard about her work, I heard it's really great. So I'm thinking about getting. Um, and um, she actually sells a rabies frequency set. Now, it's it's done as experimental, okay? But I heard so much good feedback from her. And uh, I'm not sure if this unit, though, uh, what I'm going to find out, though, is like, is it does it work with 100,000 and above, you know, what the frequency sets are? But that's another idea to use this unit with, uh, is maybe some of her sets, uh, sets um, and maybe... I don't know, maybe somebody could, you know, if the if the frequency said 50,000, for example, you know, which you're supposed to apply, and, you know, it's the spooky essential rife machine is supposed to be 100,000 to 3.5 million. It does any frequency in between there directly applied. So maybe you got to use a multiple of that to make it work. And I don't know, maybe I'd, I'd ask somebody to know something about this if that could. But I'm not sure what the heck she's going to tell me. I know, like a lot of the Hold the Clark frequencies, just about every single one of them is in the range where this this would work. Um, you know, actually, this unit with this and the computer. Um, so I, I think though, this is probably the damn best damn thing, thing since I don't know what, since the invention of the wheel. <laughs> uh, you know, I think it's got so much potential, but. Um, and from my, the best of my knowledge, I think between, like, you're talking, like, viri, bacteria, and fungi, they, they pretty much all fall between, like, mostly, except for, the, like, the right frequencies. But a lot of that stuff, if you look at the whole the Clark list, it, it's like about, you know, 100, it, it falls right in the range of this thing. Like, 100,000, 100, or a little over 100,000 to uh, maybe 400-something thousand. So it falls right in the range of this thing. Um, this thing's got a slew of promise. So I don't know. The cat seems to like freaking hanging out, but this thing now—he's hanging out by the other thing, the remote. Now, 
Just Putin, though. Putin the cat. Putin's the wise one. He's the leader. He's the leader of the three three cats over here. So anyway, I figured I'd tell you, you know, I'm doing stupid things like this. I just put some string on here because I figured I don't want this pulling out by accident. You know, if you're using it, you know, say you you pull it and you decide, you know, I want to use it on another part of your body and you, you pull it this way and you pull it too hard and you're not paying attention. I just did that as a precaution. Simple, stupid stuff, you know. Like I said, that's that's it. That's my that's my engineering, right? This <laughs> string. <laughs> but hey, you know, it's not a bad idea, even even at that. So anyway, uh, I really like this thing, though. I tell you the truth, uh, it holds a lot of promise. Um, I want to get the word out there, but I don't want people to have like an inflated hopes of anything. That's the other thing. Somebody's gonna say, "Where's the triple blind studies?" Well, even like uh, that place, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna order from DNA Frequencies, uh, Charlene, whatever her name last name is. Um, you know, I can't tell you what everything is. I can just tell you that she's got stuff out there. I heard a lot of good feedback from about it. I don't have any financial association with her. Uh, it'll be kind of cool if the frequencies she lists are in the range for what the spooky plasma would work. That would be cool. Uh, but if it doesn't, well, the, I guess the remote work, the remote mode would work then too. So anyway, uh, just want to put a quick update on this thing because I think this thing is technology that should not be ignored. I know there's a lot of stuff out there about a lot of different technology, a lot of promises, a lot of people with PhDs and a, bit, a lot of initials after their names talking a big line. Um, I hate to say it, but, you know, it's like so too simplistic. I use common sense. <laughs> it's like my BS detector is pretty good. It's like maybe you fool me in the beginning, but you don't fool me too long. Because, you know, I will test the assertions of anybody out there. And... Um, you know, I cross-check everything, but I also know that a lot of times, even sometimes, the people that are not engineers or even uh, PhDs or highly accredited people have come up with some of the best technology, like Royal Rife. It was not Dr. Royal Rife. He was a machinist, Royal Rife. He was a machinist. He was a machinist that uh, he was set up by a wealthy man that was that he worked for, and the wealthy man said, you know, what do you really want to pursue in life? And he was a machinist, and uh, he wanted to... Uh, perfect a microscope that can see pathogens smaller than a particle of light and he did that by splitting a light into uh, pieces like a refracting the light into its different uh, hues like the violet the red the yellow the, 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 the green and all that and it gave him an idea of what the uh, pathogen frequency was at uh, then he tried, you know, he made this beam ray to uh, try to shatter the pathogens. Actually, nobody really knows exactly how it works. Nobody actually knows exactly how this stuff works. Because even like, if you're dealing with uh, Ebola virus, you know, I don't know if they got frequencies for that. But um, if you're dealing with something like that, you know, a virus does not really, is not alive like a cell. It's different. It's got this lipid cell wall membrane, like... Um, Coconut oil destroys the lipid cell wall membrane of any virus, but the problem is, you know, it doesn't get it. You know, it works great in a freaking petri dish. So, you know, I mean, I don't know how well it works in a body, but it does help a little bit in the body. But um, I'm not really sure exactly. You know, I don't think anybody's 100% sure exactly how this technology really does work. It's just that. Um, you know, unfortunately, for as much stuff out there that's true, there's probably 10 times as much stuff or maybe even 100 times stuff that's out there that's not true. But uh, in my uh, my humble opinion, this is actually the truth here when you're talking about uh, the Spooky Central. And uh, the Hold the Clark Frequency set is great, too. I think that's a great set. Uh, I'm going to look at... Well, I'd like to get that rabies set for the cats uh, from uh, Charlene at DNA Frequencies. Uh, but I heard a lot of good stuff about her. Now the cat's got ruby shots, except for one. He's got to get get his yet. And uh, but I want a backup plan because you, they're not gonna happen to him. It ain't nothing gonna happen to you, right? We ain't nothing gonna happen to you. Wee wee wee. <laughs> you don't even go outside. <laughs> you don't even go outside, do you? Huh? You don't even go outside. And I don't know how the hell you're gonna get a freaking bit by a rabbit animal. But <laughs> you don't even go outside ever. 
goofball. So anyway, that's Rocky. So anyway, that's just a quick update on this stuff. I really do think this thing is fantastic. I just hope they can keep up production and get them out there. And, uh, you know, the only thing that worries me is uh, EMP protection. I'd like to, I don't know, shield this thing somehow. But, you know, there's always something, right? There's always something. 